I have covered Windows 11 a ton on this channel. I've covered it in many different forms from super light versions on game consoles. I've covered the new features coming to it, of which there have been a great many. Uh, some awesome ones like tabs in your file browser, which remain one of my favorite features of all time. Put tabs in everything, which is when it appears like Microsoft is more than happy to do with Windows 11. But unfortunately, today what I'm bringing you is not pleasant news. It's not news of AI features being integrated into the operating system. It is news that apparently the adoption of Windows 11, the market share growth, as of last month, has fully plateaued. And if these numbers are to be believed, perhaps there's margin of error going on here, its market share might have actually shrunk. So let's take a look here at this webpage, statcounter.com, which is where this information is coming from. And we're going to turn our eyes towards the end of this graph. You can see here in this blue line, this is Windows 11. You can see it is growing, okay? Not at a rapid pace, but it is slowly growing. And if you extend that out into time, you could imagine that Windows 11 would eventually catch up to Windows 10, which is the dominant Windows version right now for many different reasons. And eventually it would be able to eclipse it. But you can see here, from this month to this month, nothing happened. In fact, worse than nothing happened. It went from 23.11% of market share to 22.95% of market share. It actually lost market share from month to month. Now, again, there's got to be margin of error on these things to some degree. So it probably didn't actually lose market share. Who knows? Maybe it did. But at minimum, its growth has slowed to what is effectively a crawl. It's not gaining any ground at all. And the question now is, what does this mean? What is causing it? Where do we go from here? So unfortunately for Microsoft, the question of why is this happening can be answered a couple of different ways. I think that the primary way is the obvious one that PC sales, laptop sales have slowed tremendously over the last year or so. During the pandemic, of course, PC and laptop sales were through the roof. They were unbelievably high because so many people were finding themselves either working from home or doing their schoolwork from home and they needed a computer to do that on. So they purchased a laptop or a Windows PC and those devices, by and large, ran Windows 11, at least the ones towards the end did. Windows 11, of course, launched in October of 2021. Now, that was still when those sales were relatively high, maybe not quite at the peak, but it did benefit from that. So lots of people buying new PCs, new laptops, running Windows 11, and that did help grow things along. But that also kind of underlines a secondary reason. A lot of the laptops and computers people bought before Windows 11 was actually released are able to be upgraded to Windows 11, whereas some older devices cannot. And that is a big problem too. Perhaps some of the reason this growth has slowed to the degree that it has is because all of the older computers that were capable of going to Windows 11, all of those computers have gone to Windows 11. All the ones that were gonna do it have done it. And because of that, there's no more growth to be had there. So at this point going forward, the only way that Windows 11 can gain market share is when people buy new computers. They can't take their old computers, unlike you know all the prior operating systems really that Microsoft has put out, you can't just install Windows 11 on it without some tweaking. My wife's computer, we recently put Windows 11 on it, but it wasn't something that it would do on its own. I had to kind of finagle things to make that be possible. And most people just aren't gonna do that, or they already have and they're not going to anymore. It honestly leaves Microsoft in sort of a weird place because what are they meant to do? They can keep iterating and keep adding features. Microsoft Copilot looks really, really cool. They can make Windows 11 better and better. But at the end of the day, what they're basically asking people to do is buy a brand new computer to get access to these features. Because again, if they want a Windows 11 already on their current computer, they've probably already upgraded or they can't upgrade, which means... They have to buy a new computer. And let's be honest, guys, there just aren't that many computers coming out that are blowing people's minds. The reason they sold so many a couple of years ago was because of the pandemic. It was a necessity. Now all those people have a computer that's only like a couple of years old. So there's not really a great reason. It's like I have this laptop about two years ago or something like that. But for whatever reason, it doesn't or can't run Windows 11. I'm probably not going to be in line to buy another one. So they're hoping that more people that have older computers 
are going to upgrade. So again, making Windows 11 better and better is going to be part of that, but also creating new computers, new laptops, new PCs to bring those old users into buying new hardware is going to be where it's at. But again, Microsoft only makes what Microsoft makes. This is kind of in the hands of all the OEMs that sell hardware that run Windows 11. It's up to them to make hardware that's gonna get people to start buying computers again, even though most everyone bought a computer <laughs> just a couple of years ago. It's in a weird place. They basically took all the sales they would have had over the next few years and they shoved it into like an 18 month span. It was great for 18 months, but now they're on the other end of it and things aren't looking nearly as good. Hopefully they can just kind of stay the course and the ship writes itself over time, which should in theory happen, but things may be a little bit thin in the meantime. And then you have to think about what does that mean for Windows 11? Are they going to be watching this slowed adoption and then wondering if something's wrong with the operating system, which then causes them to lose their courage and to change course and start doing other things? It's really hard to say, but I could absolutely see that type of thing happening with Microsoft. It's something that they've been known to do, losing their courage and not stay in the course on a project. They've done it a few times I can think of. At any rate, guys, super interesting story. I'll drop the link to Stat Counter in the description down below so you can kind of dig into those numbers a bit more yourself. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Would love to hear some more opinions on this. Subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you on the next one. Until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.